Hello and welcome back to McLaren Media. In today's video, we're going to be working on the Mark VI Fiesta, try and diagnose and fix a sticky brake caliper. The tools I used for this install were a flathead screwdriver, a brake caliper winding back tool, a homemade caliper hanger, a 13mm impact socket, a 19mm impact socket, a 7mm hex bit and a 3.8 ratchet, an 8mm spanner and a torque wrench, some paper towel, steel wool, WD-40 fast release penetrating fluid, copper grease, axle stands, impact wrench and of course a trolley jack. First step, slack off the bolts and jack up the car. Secure with an axle stand, then use 19mm to remove the bolts and stick the tyre under the car for an extra layer of safety. Then open the bonnet and remove the cap from the brake fluid reservoir. Sticky brakes are annoying and can be potentially dangerous, so it's good you catch them early. They are caused by one of two things, parts of the caliper being sticky and or completely seized, or by hoses and the actual master cylinder being on its way out. A good way to test is to pump the brake and release. This is the passenger side wheel. See how it turns afterwards? Now for the driver's side. Oh dear, not good at all. So the check is the caliper. Crack off the bleed nipple using the 8mm. And if it just drips out, then you know there isn't any pressure built up in the lines and it's probably the caliper. But if it squirts out like curry night, then you know the problem is further up the chain. Do the nipple back up, then use the screwdriver to remove the caliper spring. Then use it to remove the 7mm caliper slide pin covers. Now using the 13mm socket, take off the caliper bracket bolts. Then slacken off the slider pins using the 7mm and 3.8 ratchet. After you've done this, there should be enough slack to remove the caliper and disc. If not, use a screwdriver and or crowbar to gently push back the brake pads and slide the caliper off the bracket. Remove the pads simply by pulling them out. Remove the bracket and the other pad, then secure the caliper. It was at this moment I realised I had nothing to hang it with. But not to worry, because you can make them from old metal coat hangers. Simply cut and bend to shape. I wonder if they'd be strong enough to make a DIY engine crane. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Anyway, back to the job in hand. Secure the caliper to the coil spring. These are all the parts laid out that I have to clean. Using steel wool just works in WD-40 or brake cleaner into the grooves. You'd be amazed how much road grime actually gets in these things. It's the same story with the slide pins. Run your fingers up and down. They feel like a UK road surface, so they'll definitely need a wipe. Use a small spray of WD-40 and go to work. Those techniques look awfully familiar. Um, uh, anyway, uh, here's before and after. Now wind the caliper back. This was a bit stiff and sticky, so I cleaned it up with a bit of fast release ease penetrating fluid and got it slid nice and easy. Make sure to clean the discs, Ali, before putting them back on. Seriously, who let this guy work on cars? Resecure the caliper bracket to the hub assembly. Then insert the pads back into the calipers and resecure to the bracket. The disc moves freely, but let's see if this has actually worked. Retighten the slide pins and cover, and then reattach the spring. Make sure to replace the brake fluid reservoir cap. We don't want any of the forbidden beverage going into the engine bay. Then give the brakes a few pumps until they are nice and firm. You can hear them release. You can see them engage and then release here. Reattach the wheel. Give it a spin. Perfect. I'll be running rings around you now in the Mackie's car park. So there we go, guys. I hope you found this video um, helpful. That's how you uh, diagnose and fix a sticky brake caliper. It's very annoying because obviously it feels like you've got the brakes engaged even when you're driving, especially when you're coming to a stop and trying to pull off from traffic lights. It feels like something's working against you. Um, if you don't catch it soon, um, it happened on that side before. 
Um, if you don't catch it soon, you can really destroy the, uh, the brake pads and discs. So it's good to catch it and fix it. Um, not saying this is the only way to fix uh, uh, a sticky brake caliper, but um, it's definitely one of the causes. Just take it out and clean it. That's all I can say. Um, so guys, if you like the video, hit like. Don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in my next video.